got no shame for what we are. It's a miracle we ever came this far. Hey Ricky, I was just watching your video about having your identity stolen, so I thought I'd post a little response about when the same thing happened to me. Um, I've been on the internet for an inordinately long time, like if it was like dog years it would be a hundred years or something like that. And back, way back in the stone age of the internet, we used to use this thing called IRC, or Internet Relay Chat. It's what we did before we had MSN men Messenger. And um, I got these, this email, this must be about seven years ago, I got this email from this guy saying, oh hey, you know, it was great chatting to you on IRC last night. And I said, well, I wasn't on IRC last night, I don't really use it that much. And, and it turns out there'd been a, somebody on IRC having cyber sex with these guys um, and using my name, sending them my photos and pointing them to my website. So they all thought that they were talking to me. And, I, you know, I mean, it is kind of, I can see how that would freak somebody out. But to be honest, I thought it was quite funny. Because as I said to the to the guy, and there was another guy as well that got in touch with me, as I said to them, um, you were probably having cyber sex with some 50-year-old overweight trucker, you know? <laughs> and I just, I think that's really funny. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I use live journal these days. I've been on there for three, four years. And I did have, I think I did have, I've had people use my photograph on live journal before. Not use my name, but use my photograph as their icon. I did have one guy who actually asked permission to do it. He wanted to create like a, a live journal fake persona thing. And he wanted to use my photograph for it. And I said, sure, okay, as long as it's sort of clear where it comes from. Um, yeah, it's so easy to, to do this on the internet, to say you're somebody else. It's never held any real appeal to me. Um all about being me and I don't want to try and make up a different me it just confuses situation you know but what can you do I mean all you can do is hope that somebody will notice and tell you so that you can do something about it because generally I mean if you get in touch with service providers and stuff like that and say you know huh, those photos are mine they will take them right down and they will close accounts but it's knowing that it's happening and when it's happening in another country and I think the internet's a bit sort of ghettoized when it comes to languages. People of all language groups tend to stick together, so quite often you don't know. You wouldn't wouldn't have any crossover to find out if someone in France or you know in China, I mean in China or in you know where it's somewhere like that, Russia was was taking your identity. Kind of sucks. You know I've got no shame for what we are. It's a miracle.